Today we're going to cover the Doc Martin 1460 boot, one of my most favorite boots. The things I've learned on my journey, this has been a long time because I'm obsessed with moto boots. So probably for the last 15 years, I absolutely love moto boots. I think these hit my heart like the most street enough. They don't look country. It's not like a cowboy boot is like a really good, but not quite like tough like motorcycle boots but just enough that I look punk. I think I like the punk look. So we're just gonna cover Doc Martin 1460. Things I've learned, how to select, what style, what kind of sizing should you get a man or a woman size? And if you do that, what in the world is that European size? Especially if you're buying from pre-love markets like I have so that you know what kind of sizes to buy your Doc Martens in. Three beauties right here. These three beauties. Ugh, I love all of them. They're all 1460s. And one really interesting thing that I noticed the difference, huge difference actually between the men and the women's Doc Martens 1460. <laughs> All three pairs that I'm going to be showing are in the black leather. And they come with black laces. It has the signature eight eyelets. Yellow stitching all around. Goodyear bottoms. The famous airwear tag right here, indicating the bouncy soles. And they are super bouncy. Also, if you're looking at sizes like I found that the European 39 is not the same in the men's Doc Martens as the women's. Just weird, weird sizing. So I did find a super important detail that is a big difference between the men and the women's Doc Martens 1460, which they don't mention on their website. I don't know why. If you go to the website, and I'm sorry, if you've not joined me before, my name is Jennifer. I love making videos when I have a passion about something. My channel has completely changed about Four years ago it was all luxury luxury unboxings I don't even look like that person anymore totally enjoy watching people unbox their luxury things but it's totally not me I actually don't have many of the things that I owned then because I had to sell them for money from my bank account which you never make money off of what you sell unless you're a really good investor like she's the posh Jess is an amazing investor I got this off of a seller on Poshmark and look at the difference same boot same size totally different texture. This is matte, this is shiny. Watch out for that when you're buying on pre-love websites because you want to get the right style that you want, either shiny or not shiny, which would be matte. All right, sizing is super weird for me. I bought the men's size seven thinking that the shaft would be a little bit shorter than i thought on the website but the shaft is totally the same height in both men and women so six inch shaft or in centimeters that 15 and a half centimeters so this is 15 and a half centimeters or six inches even though these worn in ones look like they'd be shorter just because they're crunched down, they are really the same height, trust me. Like, I'll line up the yellow stitching and you can tell that they're the exact same shaft. And these are in the women's. So that brings us to the second point is that the shaft is going to be the same whether it's women's or men's. So completely the same shaft. In terms of sizing, another major difference was in the men's, I wear a medium, like that would be just a regular size foot. In the men's, these really do close up all the way on my foot. So these tend to go like this, 
So if you don't like that closed up look, then you might wanna get the women's size, but in the men's, these do close up pretty much all the way on my foot. I'll show you in the modeling shots. So you can kind of tell like, um, there's the eyelets are like really close together. Whereas in the women's sizing, the eyelets are not gonna be that close together. So it looks more wide, which I think looks better. So we've covered the style, either shiny or matte. We've covered that the shaft is the same same height and the eyelets um, will come closer together in the men's size if you're a woman and you wear a size medium shoe. Okay, so the final difference um, on this is the one that I noticed. And I only noticed this because I got my last two pair off of Poshmark and they're both women's sizes. I was like, this is weird because on my man's 1460, this wonderful leather that you can kind of see, it's a light yellow. Um, it's real smooth, real buttery, and it goes all the way to the toe and real, real padded. I wonder if I can take this out. No, I can't take it out, but it's really padded all the way to the toe. But in the woman's boot, it only goes like right to here and then this is all fabric and it's not as padded so it's not as comfortable this is the third one that's the mat and this is in the women's size eight and the bottom is that smooth bouncy light yellow leather and it only goes like to here and then that's it weird huh so um those are the three major differences so to summarize for um Style, you can get either shiny or matte. And in terms of the closure, the eyelets will be closed more if you have a man's boot rather than a woman's boot. So this will be not as closed. And sizing. I'm usually at eight and a half medium and the 39 women's fits me like a tight eight and a half comfortable I'm still gonna stick with the size eight in the size 39 European man though in those sizes I it fits me like a size nine so it was a little bit bigger I can't understand because on the website European 39 what I saw in men should be about a size seven and women should be a size eight so not quite sure why the European sizes differ in the Doc Martens, but I thought it might be helpful for you. So I hope this is helpful. So if um, you have any ideas, and I know there are a lot of more people that own Doc Martens a lot longer than me, if you have comments and helpful advice on how to pick the sizing for these boots, please let us know in the comments below, and we appreciate it. I will go ahead and model these boots like crazy, so you can kind of see the difference and I'll kind of label which boots which. And I'll see you again in our next video.